welcome to Chabad on the Go First uh, broadcast. Uh, today we're going to uh, talk about uh, setting a roof around your motorhome or the uh, travel trailer. Uh, on Shabbos you're not allowed to carry things out of your personal domain into the public domain. And uh, uh, unless the whole uh, RV park is surrounded by a fence, and uh, that uh, in itself can be not necessarily walk all the time, it's very good to have uh, a roof set up around your motor, uh, not around your RV, so you can carry things outside of your RV on Shabbos. So today I'm going to show how we do it in Chabad on the go. So the general idea is that we want to have a fence uh, which, deter which uh, uh, delimits our own private domain from everything else around us. And uh, uh, not to go into very deep details on the Jewish law, what we're going to really do is a set of uh, gates. Because if you have a gate, uh, which basically has two poles and pole on, on top uh, that constitute part of the fence. So if we build the set of gates uh, around our uh, motorhome and our, our RV, we're going to have a, a fence surrounding us. And uh, in order for it to be a fence, uh, the, uh, the top beam or string or whatever you put on top has to be really on top of the uh, leg on top of the vertical beam. So you can see that we have uh, small screws here, which we're going to have tight, tight, we'll type a line on top of it. So it's going to be, it has to be like T, it has to be on top, it cannot be on the side. And uh, then uh, the poles themselves, that's my design. And it's all made from, you can, uh, the, the stakes are your regular stakes which you use for camping and the poles are uh, th those are from Home Depot uh, officially called double I think uh, but, but it's, uh, it's half inch in diameter and uh, we I use duct tape to connect, uh, I make the sharp end of the wooden pole and I connect the stake with the duct tape. So this allows me to uh, put, uh, to, to hammer the stake in with the hammer so I can pretty much go inside uh, any surface uh, except for the good made concrete. Uh, I tried it all over the United States and it worked every time. Uh, so uh, the distance between the uh, for the gate to walk it has to be no more than uh, uh, 15 armor which is uh, about 20 feet uh, but we're gonna do that So if it's a uh, soft ground, you can drive both the wooden and the metal piece together, makes it uh, sturdier. And uh, then, I'm gonna put another one. And the final one goes right near the motorhome. Okay. And uh, now we're going to put the string in. And also, I came up with another trick that I will show you. So, 
this is the string also from Home Depot. It's, uh, when you buy it, the, this bright colored one, it's easy to see it so you don't bump into your own uh, air roof and destroy it on Shabbos. So don't get the camera pattern, bright yellow box. Over here we have an entrance so we don't need a string and it's close enough. Not so it's obvious this is an entrance that uh, we can get away without putting anything on top. So now we can see that we put the string on top of the pole. So when we're gonna take it, it's it's always on top, it's not on the side. And you do it so it's tensed, so there's tension, so that cork holds the whole thing together and friction. So the trick I wanted to show when you put the pole on the corner, it, it's right now the next one will go there, so actually both strings will be pull, pulling it inside. So to prevent it, you can have uh, another stake which you can put in the ground. Here it's very soft ground, so it's really don't even need a hammer. But you can put then your string around this. This, so we have something that will which will hold it. To, to in the opposite side of the tension of the A roof. And you can decide depending on how soft the ground is and how how your angles, how many you need to strengthen this. So now we put the final piece. And then you can use any. We always have something at the, at the back of our motorhome too. I usually use the bike rake too. But that's already has nothing to do with the Jewish law. It's just how I, I, I want the, the end to be attached so the wind not gonna or anything will not gonna blow my air away. Uh, in a way, and also I don't want to, I use the same uh, so I can, I don't, I don't want to cut the line so I use the same line. I think that should work now we have an error. And uh, uh, everywhere the key is that the, the, the line is on top of the uh, on the on the beam. So that's the end of our uh, broadcast. Uh, stay tuned for the next one. Next one we'll probably talk about setting the steps of the motorhome in a way that you can open and use the use it on Shabbos. Uh, so until the next time, good Shabbos and Shabbat Shalom.